Welcome to part 2 of the Greg Doucet food challenge where I attempt to eat from his anabolic cookbook for 7 days. Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. And this is part 2 of my Greg Doucet food challenge where I attempt to eat from his anabolic cookbook for 7 days. Now if you haven't seen part 1 of this series please click here on the i button and watch that. Anyway enough jibber jabber let the eating begin. Good morning guys, it's day 3 and I weighed myself this morning and I was 69.6 kilograms. I'm also feeling slightly better today and I've got the hamburger for breakfast and I'm going to eat this now and then I'm going to get a workout in. I just finished my workout and I definitely trained harder than last time and it's not just because I feel like I'm dying but I actually wrote down the number of sets and reps I did and I trained harder than last time. Oh yes I did. <sighs> so yesterday between not feeling too good and the awful taste of that powdered peanut butter I was questioning myself whether I should have bought cookbook version 2 and use that instead for this challenge because that has more recipes and I think it's got more savory recipes as well so I would have probably had an easier time actually doing this challenge but right now I am struggling well yesterday actually I like I said I reworked my meal plan and I ordered some groceries and they came this morning so I got some protein bread, some regular pizza base because you don't get the low calorie ones here, some fat free cheese, some carrots, some mushrooms, some baby spinach, a zucchini, I got a whole kilo of peas, I got some ground chicken, I got myself some fancy barbecue ham, I got more eggs and I got some pasta sauce that I'm going to use on the pizza. Now all these groceries cost me about 2400 Indian rupees or about 33 to 34 US dollars. So like I said yesterday I really struggled to rework this meal plan because I've got the PDF open in front of me right now. As I told you I was getting sick of the sweet breakfast so I had the hamburger today and I was looking through the book look the breakfast section had basically five recipes all sweet then there's the sandwich section where I'm already eating the hamburger but there is a grilled cheese and a ham and cheese sandwich which are I think doable now I was able to get that protein bread as well as the fat free cheese but like I don't see myself having the peanut butter banana sandwich or the peanut butter and jam sandwich because that powdered peanut butter is inedible wraps I'm already having a wrap for dinner and the one two three four five six seven whatever wrap number recipes that are there they're just different brands of wraps and as you saw I don't get all these brands in India so I had to make do with the regular wrap so I've been able to adjust the macros accordingly to make it you know more or less anabolic in the dinner section again I mean there's like four or five pastas which are all again the, the main component is the low carb or the low calorie pasta which I get none of in India then the pizzas that are there well um, Again, the, the base of the pizza, you just don't get that here. Luckily, because I got the fat-free cheese and I could replace the bison with the chicken mince that I bought, I decided to get a regular pizza base, which thankfully is just about 40 or 50 calories more than what Greg is using. So I can, once again, like I ate a single wrap for dinner, I'll just eat one pizza for lunch and try and top it up with more of the toppings to meet the anabolic requirements in the snack section again it is cookies which I've had a bad experience with so I'm not yet ready to try making them again and there are protein bars which are again all sweet and I don't want so much sweet stuff there is one savory snack recipe of protein chips and guacamole guacamole and the chips which again are a branded high protein sort of bread thing I don't get it here so again it would be quite pointless doing that 
then you've got desserts i don't want any more sweets and then you've got shakes which is again all sweet 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 but basically i was quite frustrated sitting and trying to find something that i actually liked and wanted to eat i hope now between the ham and cheese sandwich the grilled cheese sandwich and this protein pizza and the wrap i should be sorted i will throw in uh, one of these protein shakes if i feel like it every now and then i think that's all for now i'm going to go and cook up that protein pizza and i'll check in with you later ladies and gentlemen here i am with my lunch finally the anabolic protein pizza and i am actually looking forward to eating this this is my kind of food uh, as you know i had to get a regular pizza base so it was quite small so i could only use half of the tomato sauce on it that i had actually portioned out so i used less tomato sauce i also added more meat to mine to make it more anabolic and i put some mushrooms i put some onions in fact like i don't even know how i'm going to eat this it's so huge and massive but you know what the macros are actually really good it's about 430 calories 43 grams of carbs 7 grams of protein and 49 grams of sorry 7 grams of fat and 49 grams of protein so this is actually less calories than greg's pizza and it's got more protein than greg's pizza and it's got less fat than greg's pizza anyway i don't know why i'm talking like this but i'm going to go and enjoy this now and i will check in with you guys later it's pretty hot but mm i'm not a fan of this low fat cheese it sticks to your teeth but this is tasty it's got flavor it's got something it's got it makes me want to eat it anyway hey guys day 3 has come to an end and i had a ham and cheese sandwich in the evening for my snack which i had much later than usual because that pizza really filled me up and then i had my wrap for dinner and yeah i'll check in with you guys tomorrow day 4 69.7 seconds i'm eating the embega for breakfast anabolic pizza for lunch dinner is a wrap and so is day 4 day 5 and i've weighed in at 69.6 kilos and for breakfast i've got the grilled cheese sandwich oh yeah hey guys i just finished the most grueling workout and i definitely trained harder than last time so i have made my first ever protein shake now this is the chocolate pb2 protein shake this is the small size one now since that peanut butter powder was so bad tasting i actually left it out of this recipe and the recipe is the same for all the shakes it says put everything in a blender and then it says pour it out into a mug or a whatever and drink it but i i this has become a solid mass like is this the ice cream is this the ice cream recipe because i put this over my head and nothing came out in fact i don't even know if i can pour it out of this blender so instead i'm going to eat it i guess it in fact it looks like a custard it looks like a chocolate custard if you can see that like it's got the texture of custard so i'm going to try it okay this is not as bad as i was expecting you know what it tastes like in the supermarket you get these little chocolate jello like things it tastes like that honestly i was expecting the worst you know from this because well i mean i just don't have much faith in protein powders and protein shakes but this is not too bad and the sweetener is also okay tastes like chocolate i'm so glad i didn't put that peanut butter powder in this because it might have been inedible with that but this isn't the worst it's not the best either but you know what i can eat it and i can mildly enjoy it anyway i guess that's my first protein shake ever if you can call it a shake i think this is the anabolic ice cream maybe i don't know but it, it's the texture because of that xanthan gum is a little odd it's got that gelatinous kind of thing anyway 
I think that's enough jibber jabber. I'm gonna go and finish this protein shake. And for lunch today, I'm having the wrap. And I'm having a snack now and I'm having a ham and cheese sandwich without cheese because my zero fat cheese is running out and I have only two slices left which I need for my pizza tonight. So now it's just a ham sandwich. So my wife has ordered some delicious Naga food from a place called Naga Belly and we actually did a video review of this restaurant on our channel. Click on the i button to watch it. So I did taste all of this food like a few bites of everything and meanwhile I've got my anabolic pizza in the oven cooking and that's going to be my dinner. And that's a wrap on day 5 I want to say it's day 5 and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Good morning guys it's day 6 and I weighed myself this morning and I was 69.4 kilos. I've been spending most of the morning separating eggs because I'm having the French toast blueberry pancakes for breakfast. In fact, I woke up early and placed an order for blueberries. So they should be here very soon. And then I can make myself some anabolic blueberry French toast pancakes. Anyway, I'll check in with you soon. Hey guys, so I finally got my breakfast. It's a little later than I've normally been eating. But you know what? Better late than never. I ordered those blueberries and they finally showed up. It cost me about three and a half dollars for 125 grams of blueberries. So it's pretty expensive for most Indian people. But I wanted to follow the recipe to the T. So I made the pancakes. I did everything as per the instructions. I even put the blueberries in the pancake to make sure they cook a little bit. And I get all that deliciousness, hopefully. Anyway, now I'm going to taste these pancakes. And yeah, let's dig in. You know what? They're alright. They're not too bad. I mean, it's very similar to the anabolic French toast. If you like French toast, you like the pancakes. You like blueberries, you like it. I mean, it's got that artificial sweetener taste all over it because of the syrup. There's nothing you can do about that. But the pancakes themselves, they're light, they're fluffy. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's a decent breakfast. Anyway, I'm going to go and finish these off now. In fact, I may not be able to finish them because they're quite big, but yeah, I'm going to go and try and finish them now. Guys, I couldn't finish the pancakes. They are super, super filling. So I'm just going to keep these and eat them as dessert later. And for today's lunch, I've got a double ham and cheese sandwich because I had one slice of protein bread extra and I said instead of just leaving it on its own, I'd make a bigger sandwich. And I got a side of grilled zucchini because you got to get those veggies in as well. Now, I'm thinking this afternoon, I'm going to attempt to remake those chocolate chip cookies. And hopefully they will come out better. I'm also going to taste them when they're warm. Maybe that's what was wrong with my cookies. I don't know. But I'm feeling brave today. So I'm going to attempt those cookies later. My friends, it's the moment of truth. I just baked those cookies once again and uh, they're still warm from the oven and unlike the last time this time i just got one giant sheet of cookies and before i taste it again i'm going to tell you what i did because i did do something different i did not use the peanut butter powder and uh, i didn't use it because you guys already know how bad it tastes but uh, i don't think that should change the taste or the texture of the cookie uh, but just letting you know, the previous time, I literally made it to the T. There was nothing that I changed except the sweetener, that Vita Fiber sweetener. I used a different one. After doing a lot of research online and making sure I got something that's an appropriate replacement. Anyway, I'm going to dig into this cookie. This is horrible. It's, this is warm from the oven. I refuse to believe that the peanut butter powder is the, is the reason for this. It's like chewing sandpaper. It's dry. It's, and I cooked it exactly 12 minutes. I followed the instructions. I made sure I did. This is awful. 
I have made it twice now. So yeah, I'm sorry. In terms of taste, it's it's got the artificial sweetener taste. It's got a bit of that cocoa, chocolatey taste from the protein powder and the, you know that that's okay. But the texture, just just look at it. I mean, like, look at this. It's I'm not gonna eat this. What is this? This is like I could wear it as armor and like bulletproof vest. Extremely, extremely. Yeah, so I did my best. I tried it a second time. I tried to take out what I thought might be a problematic ingredient the first time. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know. But anyway, I'm done with these cookies and I'll check in with you in a bit. Hey guys, time for some real talk. I think I'm going to call it quits on this food challenge. I think I have experienced and understood enough to be able to make a fair assessment of this cookbook and the anabolic lifestyle and the recipes from the book. Truth be told guys, I don't think I can wake up another day and eat an anabolic french toast or an anabolic pancake. Also my groceries have mostly run out so I do not feel like shopping and spending more money and buying more low fat cheeses and breads and things like that. So. I think this is a good time for me to call it quits. However, I will finish today. So I will have the wrap for dinner and I will weigh in tomorrow morning and share my final thoughts with you. I know there was just one day to go, but you know what? I think I've had enough. Anyway, I'll check in with you tomorrow morning. Hey folks, it's day seven and I weighed myself this morning and I was 69.1 kilos. So I lost one whole kilo from six days of eating from the anabolic cookbook. Now one kilo is 2.2 pounds and that is actually a healthy weight loss. Now I don't think there was a doubt in anyone's mind that I wasn't going to lose the weight because I was eating in a calorie deficit and I was exercising as well. And as coach Greg says, calories in versus calories out. It doesn't matter if you eat from the anabolic cookbook or some other cookbook. If you eat in a calorie deficit, you are going to lose weight. And I did. Now I think it's pretty obvious that the anabolic lifestyle isn't for me because I couldn't even get through the entire week. I gave up on day six. Perhaps if I had eaten from cookbook version 2 which has more recipes and more variety in it, I might have gotten through the 7 days. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't think this is something that I could personally sustain for longer than a week or two. Now, I would like to share my thoughts on the anabolic lifestyle and eating from the anabolic cookbook with you. Now the recipes in the book were very easy to make and they were not time consuming at all except for me having to separate the eggs because I live in a country where you don't get egg whites in a carton. But other than that, making the food was not a task at all. It was simple and easy. I will also say that at no point during the six days was I ever hungry and I always felt full. So the foods were very satiating while being low in calories. So the book definitely lived up to what it promised. It was also very easy for me to track my calories and macros because all that information was given in the book and no matter what recipe you pick, you always know how many calories you're eating. Granted, I recalculated most of the calories for the recipes because I was substituting a lot of things. However, if you don't have to do that, then well, it's pretty easy to be on track and to eat in a calorie deficit. Now, where this book really failed for me was the taste. I would give it a 5 on 10. And you know, the truth is I have very high standards when it comes to food. I'm a very picky eater and I know good food. And this book failed miserably on the taste. And I understand why. You know, when you take out all the fat from the food and you have these kind of products, because at least the products I got, they don't taste that great. You know, I mean, if you eat peanut butter powder and you eat peanut butter, there is a definite taste difference. You know, if you eat a, a high calorie piece of cheese versus a low calorie piece of cheese, there is a definite taste difference. So for me, the taste was a complete thumbs down. 
and look to be really honest i enjoy food with flavor and you know what i actually love chicken broccoli rice i know coach greg hates it and he says never eat chicken broccoli rice again but you know what if you've ever made my chicken broccoli rice you know that it's packed full of flavor in fact i've even done a video so click here on the i button to check out my recipe for that and look it's not that i don't like junk food like sandwiches pizzas and burgers i do but you know what when i eat a pizza i want a lovely sourdough crust cooked in a wood fired oven with the best toppings on it when i eat a burger i want a lovely brioche bun with some high quality cheese and some beef with fat in it and you know what i'm okay to compromise and eat it less frequently and i don't mind eating smaller portions of these food than to try and make low calorie versions and eat it on a daily basis you know i am more about quality over quantity so on a saturday night i would rather have two slices of regular pizza that are 600 calories than eat an anabolic pizza in its entirety which is 600 calories i'm okay with not you know shoveling food down my face and having like massive stacks of food i've always been someone who controls their portions so i don't need these massive amounts of food to eat to be satiated and to be happy so in conclusion while the anabolic lifestyle and eating from the ultimate anabolic cookbook by greg duset is not for me it might work for you if you enjoy these kinds of food if you want recipes that are easy to make and don't take much time and you want a large volume of food for a low number of calories then perhaps this is the lifestyle for you but for me i'm going to have to take a hard pass for now Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please smash that like button also let me know in the comments what food challenge should I do next and till then cheers and keep cooking click here and watch one of my other videos or listen to some of my music yeah a zero